All right, good morning. I'm gonna take out my gum here and get back onto my mat. Oh, how is everybody doing this morning? All right, hopefully people will uh, begin to pop up. I just want to let everybody know I'm very poor eyesight. So with my tablet across the room, um, I probably won't be able to see the names of people that are popping in. That is all right. First of all, I want to thank everybody who's already donated. Um, I appreciate it very much. I have the first two recipients. I will be splitting 100% of the proceeds between two people in need or two businesses in need. So my first recipient is uh, Michelle Brownson. So uh, her family just um, upgraded their business and sunk everything they had into it. They're not able to go a whole month or even a couple weeks without um, income at this time. So that is uh, my first donation. My second donation is uh, Lindsay. Oh, I'm drawing a blank on last name. Um, she's a massage therapist in the area. Um, she is selling gift certificates right now for future use for $30. So um, I will post her name um, next to the, both the names next to this video um, for who are getting the recipient, who will be the recipients of the donations for calendar week 13. Um, all right, uh, I'm going to shut another door back here so that my furnace doesn't um, interrupt. And uh, let's get started. Let's arrive on our mats. Just come sitting in the easy pose. Close your eyes. Feel your sits bones on the mat. Lengthen up through the spine. Bring the chin level with the earth. Go inside. Find your breath. Begin to follow your breath all the way through the inhale, all the way through the exhale. Feeling the belly rise on the inhale, and feeling the navel center sink back towards the spine on the exhale. Begin to notice that empty space, that empty, vast, limitless space at the top of the inhale and the bottom of the exhale. Begin to pause there briefly, just as long as is comfortable for you at this time, and then return to the breath. of your next inhale in that empty, vast, limitless space. What's your intention for the class today? Return to the breath. And feel your intention come to fruition. And then we'll rise up off the mats. I'm going to take my glasses off. We'll begin with sun salutations. So step into the front of your mat. Just looking down, making sure the feet are straight, parallel, railroad tracks, and right underneath the hip bones. Arms at the heart center in prayer pose. We'll inhale and lean back. 
exhale, full fold. Inhale, stepping the left leg all the way back on the mat, looking up, exhaling to plank. Suspending the breath out, drop down to the knees, chest, chin or forehead, and inhale to cobra. Exhale to down dog. Inhaling, stepping the left leg forward, right knee to the mat, look up. And exhaling, full fold. Inhale, come all the way back up. Exhale, the arms to heart center. Inhale, lean back. Exhale, full fold. Inhaling, stepping the left leg back on the mat, looking up. Exhaling to plank. Suspend the breath out. Knees, chest, chin to the mat. Inhale to cobra. Exhale to down dog. Inhaling, stepping the left leg forward, right knee to the mat, look up. Exhaling, stepping the right leg forward, full fold. Inhaling, coming all the way back up. Exhaling, the arms to heart center. You'll notice that I'm a mirror image for you. I haven't learned how to flip my thing around yet. We'll get there. <laughs> Inhale, leaning back. Exhale, full fold. Inhaling, stepping the left leg back, looking up. Exhaling to plank. Suspend the breath out. Eight points of contact. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Inhaling, left leg forward. Look up. Exhale, full fold. Inhale, come all the way back up. Exhaling the arms to the heart center. You can feel your body loosening here. I can feel mine. Inhale, lean back. Exhale, fold. Inhaling, left leg back. Look up. Exhale, plank. Suspend the breath out. Eight points of contact. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Inhaling, stepping the left leg forward, right knee to the mat, look up. Exhaling, fold. Inhale, come all the way back up. Exhale, the arms to heart center. Inhale, lean back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, step back. Exhale, plank. Suspend the breath out. Eight points of contact. Inhaling, cobra. Exhaling, down dog. Inhaling, left leg forward. Exhale, fold. Inhaling, Exhale, arms to heart center. Last one, fast. Inhale, lean back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, left leg back. Exhale, plank. Suspend the breath out. Eight points of contact. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Inhaling, stepping the left leg forward. Look up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhaling, the arms to heart center. And now we'll hold postures for a few breaths. Now that we're warmed up, we'll let our body lengthen. Sink down in. And. 
and then next exhale, come to a full fold. And let the body hang off of the hips. Pull up in the kneecaps to bring the attention to the backs of the legs. Let the torso sink down and as those muscles and tendons in the backs of the legs loosen. And then we'll soften our knees. Grab onto the elbows overhead, coming into ragdoll. Create some movement with the body. Feeling the weight of the head and the arms, lengthening the spine, and playing with that movement. See what works for your body. Maybe you will just swing like a pendulum. Maybe move the elbows. Let the movement create space between each vertebrae. And coming back to center, drop the hands down. Step the left leg all the way back on the mat. Left knee down, look up. Let the pelvic bone sink towards the mat. Relax your shoulder blades down the back. And then on your next exhale, step the right leg back to plank. And take a moment to align your plank. Spreading your fingers wide. Turning the insides of the elbows so they're facing each other. Palms right underneath the shoulders. Shoot through the heels to the crown of the head. I like to imagine that I'm just standing against a wall and my body is weightless. And then on the next exhale, drop the knees down. Bring the chest between the hands, chin to the mat. Take your elbows and squeeze them into the rib cage as you pull your shoulder blades together. And on your next inhale, come up to cobra. And flatten your feet. Pull the shoulder blades down your back again. Let your hips sink towards the mat. Open up your heart center. Now we'll shift our hips from side to side. Enjoying opening up that pelvic spine. And coming back to center, tuck the toes under, pull up from the hips, come into down dog. Choose from the fingertips to the tailbone tailbone to the heels, lengthening the heels towards the mat or to the mat. You can imagine you can lift your palms off of the mat, or at least remove the pressure enough from the palms that you can imagine sliding a piece of paper under there. And then we'll walk our dog here, alternately dropping a knee into our down dog and Pushing our other heel back to the mat, opening up the calves. Lindsay Miller, that's her name, Lindsay Miller. That's who we're getting our donations to this week. I'll look her up on Facebook and buy a gift certificate from her. Looking forward, let's step the left foot forward. As far as you can, it doesn't have to be right inside like this, but I'm close. Drop the right knee down, look up. Let your shoulder blades once again sink down the back. Letting the pelvic bone 
move towards the earth. Next exhale, step the right leg forward and come to a full fold. This time let's grab the backs of the legs and pull the torso towards the legs. So you decide here what kind of bend you need in your knee. You want to be able to feel this both in the backs of the legs and in the spine. Next inhale, come all the way up. And exhale the arms to heart center. Nice. So we'll go through a flow. We're all warmed up, ready to go. So we'll start with a sequence for, oh, I've been doing for years. Uh, it, it kind of evolves and changes and morphs, but it's a good full body workout. It's a little long for each side. But we'll start with that, and then we'll move on to a little shorter sequences. So start with the hands at the heart center. We'll inhale and lean back. Exhale, full fold. This time, we're going to float both feet back to plank. Again, align the plank. Lower yourself towards the mat. We're going to inhale to up dog. And exhale to down dog. So we'll start by lifting up the right leg. And again, I'm your image to you. Just imagine the body is a straight line from the right toes to the fingertips. Of course, we keep our No bend in either elbow or either knee here, and the hips parallel to the mat. And then we'll open up that right hip towards the ceiling. Begin to open and close the right leg, letting the foot fall to the buttocks. Let's leave the foot at the buttocks. We're going to flip our dog. So you can either drop down to the left knee and flip over, or just come all the way over and open up. And once you're over, whether you're on your right knee or left knee, rather, or if you're on both feet, you want to imagine that there's a rope around your midsection. And Pulling you up, your belly up towards the ceiling, getting that navel center higher than the knees. Let's go ahead and come back to our three legged down dog with the hips parallel to the mat. And we'll tuck under. Pull the right knee to the nose. Keep that right foot up as high as you can. If you find yourself way down here, you can't get that leg up, use your other leg. Teach that leg where it needs to be. Let's put the right foot between the hands. Rotate that left instep to the mat. And bring the body up to warrior one. Relaxing your shoulder blades down the back. Imagine the arms are shooting straight up. Little to no bend in the elbows. This time we'll revolve our warrior one. We're reaching our arms forward, pulling the elbows straight back, hooking the thumbs at the waist, and bringing our heart centered towards the ceiling. So 
let's move briefly back to warrior one and then open up to warrior two. Check your horizon. Oh, I love your warrior two. Feel strong. And that knee and toe in line. If your knee dips forward and you can't mentally get it to come back, use your hand. Teach it again. Teach your body how to align. We'll turn the right palm to the ceiling. We'll bring the left arm behind the back and revolve our warrior two. Let's move that right elbow to the right knee. Let's keep that left arm behind the back and turn your gaze towards the ceiling. Stay strong. We can create a triangle here. Keep your breathing long and deep and slow and steady through the nose. It's okay to breathe through the mouth a little bit, but anytime you realize that you're breathing through the mouth, See if you can't bring back that breath through the nose. And now let's reach the left arm overhead. So creating a stretch all the way up the left side of the body. Reach out. And if your body will allow, bring the right arm up. Now we're going to take that right palm, bring it to a block or to the mat, just inside the right end step, and turn and look over the left shoulder to the ceiling. You can use a block here, some sort of prop to put your hand on instead of the mat. And also if you'd like to deepen into this, you can reach the left arm behind the back, reach the right arm underneath for bear grip. Rip the hands together behind your back. Most important here is that your shoulders stack vertically on top of the ankle and the knee. We don't want to dip down forward. Stay up. Let's take a big inhale here. And as we exhale, float the body up. Straighten out the right leg. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, fold right at the hip, coming forward, and you can go no further than windmill over. Putting that hand wherever is comfortable for your body. It can be here, it can be all the way down. What's most important here is that you keep your body on one plane. You internally push that right hip forward, pull the left hip back, reach the fingertips away from each other. Inhale here, and as we exhale, float the body up. Now, so let's turn our feet so that they are at a 45 degree angle from the plane of the body. Let's bring our arms up. We're going to bring our heart center towards the ceiling and let our arms float down, opening up the heart center. We need to keep our heart center open during these unusual times. Help keep you centered. On your next exhale, let's come to a full forward fold and sink down in. Enjoy that lengthening in the inner thighs for a moment. We'll come up, bringing the back parallel to the floor or close to whatever your body does. Everybody's a little different. 
take that right palm and put it that center between the feet. Now we can move it over here. What we're going to do is create a straight line with our arms. So if you can do that straight line from here, that's great. I like to do it from here. Just turn your gaze over the left shoulder, looking towards the ceiling. Go ahead and bring that left hand back to the mat. We're going to walk both hands over towards the left foot. Now if you can get one hand on either side of the foot, excellent. That's, that's as deep as you can go into it. It's okay to just come here. We're going to bend the left knee and bring the buttocks towards the heel. Sink so down in here, bring your crown back parallel to the ceiling and lift your right toes up towards the ceiling. Not everybody's body is going to allow them to do this, so just go into this with whatever works for your body. On any given day, actually. So let's bring that right sole back to the mat, straighten out the left leg, walk the hands back to center. Pull in the navel center and bring the torso back up. Align the spine. Excellent. We'll turn our right toes, our hips and our shoulders back towards the front of the mat, letting that left foot pivot for what's comfortable for your body. We're going to bring our arms behind our back. So you can grab onto the elbows here or bring your hands into prayer pose. Inhale, lean back. Exhale, forward fold over the right leg. Listening to your body. That right knee is advising that it's going to bend. Let it bend. Once you're down, pull the, shoulder, the elbows away from the back. This directs the blood flow to the internal organs. So even though I'm punched all the way over, my lungs feel fill all the way. I can breathe long and deep. Now we'll reach the hands towards the ceiling. Interlace the fingers. Pull the shoulder blades together and put a deep, purposeful 90 degree bend in the right knee and reach the hands towards the ceiling. Let's drop our grip behind our back. Bring the left palm right underneath the left shoulder. Let's open up the right side. See if you can't keep that left instep on the mat. Lengthening some of those muscles we don't get to in different versions of this posture. Now we're going to take the right hand, bring it to the outside of the right foot. We're going to step in to warrior three. So do Warrior three airplane mode. You know, I usually use a block in when I'm teaching in the studio here. <laughs> so, we'll just do our little balance here. Now take the right hand, bring it to a block if you've got one, or to the floor. And we'll open up the left side to half moon. the feet together. Roll up on the spine. Shake the body out. Ooh. Nice. Get a drink of water if you like here. 
And we'll do the other side. So we we'll do the other side of the knot here. <sighs> Inhale, arms up. Exhale, full fold. And we'll float both feet back to plank. Line the plank, lower yourself towards the mat, chaturanga. Up dog. And down dog. Nice. So we'll lift the left leg up. Come to our three-legged down dog. Imagining that straight line from the left toes to the fingertips, 45 degree angle from the earth. Feel the body lengthening. And we'll raise the left hip to the ceiling. And open and close. The left leg. Nice smooth motion. Leaving the left foot at the buttocks, we'll flip our dog. Again, it's hard to drop down to the right knee. Whatever your body's going to do once you're over. Imagine that rope tied around the navel center, pulling it towards the ceiling. Bring that left palm back to the mat, back to our three-legged down dog with the hips parallel to the mat. And we'll Bring the left knee to the nose and tuck under. Keep the leg high. Use the right leg to prop that foot up if you need to. Teach your body. And then we'll take that left leg and put the foot right inside the left hand. Rotate that right instep onto the mat and bring the body up to warrior one. Reach the fingertips to the ceiling. Imagine no bend in your elbows. Imagine that 90 degree bend in the knee, left knee, no bend in the right knee. I have, a, I have, I see you on there. <laughs> I just can't see who it is. Let me acknowledge. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Bring the fingertips forward. Pull the arms back. Hook the thumbs behind the waist. And bring your heart center towards the ceiling. And we'll move briefly back to warrior one and then open up to warrior two. Reach the fingertips away from each other, sink down in. You come up. Turn the left palm towards the ceiling. Bring the right arm behind the back. Let's revolve our warrior two. And we'll bring that left elbow to the left knee. Keep that right arm behind the back. Turn your gaze to the ceiling. Stay strong in this triangle here. You 
Don't sink down and keep up. Keep up and you'll be kept up. Have an experience with yourself. And we'll reach the right arm overhead as we bring our gaze to the side walls, to the ceiling. Reach, create that stretch all the way up the right side of the body. And then we'll bring our left arm up. If your body allows. If not, leave, leave the elbow there. That's fine. If your body will do for you today. We're going to take the left palm, put it on the mat inside the left instep or a block, and turn and look over the right shoulder to the ceiling. The body on one plane. The body will allow, reach around for bear grip. Keep the shoulders stacked vertically on that ankle and knee. Take a big inhale here. And as you exhale, float the body up and reach your arms out. Inhale. Exhale, fold at the hip. And you can go no further windmill into triangle. Keeping the body on one plane. So if you're here, perfect. Here, whatever works for your body. Push that left hip bone forward. Pull the right hip bone back. A big inhale here. Exhale, float the body up. Again, let's turn the feet so that they are 45 degree angle from the plane of the body. This time we'll bring our arms behind our back, interlace the fingers, pull the shoulder blades together, and hinge right at the hips, and come forward. Drop the crown of your head towards the floor, and let your arms fall overhead. And sink down in. Go of the grip behind our back. Bring our palms to the mat, bringing the body part way up. Left hand, I like to put it dead center, but you can go either direction. Just keep the arms in a straight line. We're going to reach the right arm behind the back with our gaze. over towards the right foot. Maybe we can get one hand on either side of the foot. Maybe we're here, whatever works for you. So bend that right knee. Bring the buttocks towards the heel. Bring the crown of the head back up towards the ceiling and lift the left toes towards the ceiling. Your body will let you do that today. back to the mat, straighten out the right leg, walk the hands back to center, pull the navel center in, and roll up on the spine. Nice. We're turning our hips, shoulders, left toes back towards the front of the mat, let that right foot pivot for your body's comfortability, whatever works for your body. Bring the hips, shoulders back parallel to the short edge of the mat, bringing the arms behind the back, and again, 
grabbing onto the elbows or bringing the hands into prayer pose. I like to hold my breath here so it doesn't flop down in my face. <laughs> Inhale, lean back. And exhale, forward fold over the left leg. Again, listening to your body. If that left knee wants to bend, let it bend. Pull the elbows away from the back once you're down. Feel the opening up of the blood flow to all the internal organs. Now let's reach our hands towards the ceiling. Interlace the fingers. 90 degree bend in that left knee and let your torso sink down inside the left thigh. Lift the hands towards the ceiling. And let go of our grip and bring that right palm right underneath the right shoulder to the mat. And open up the left side. See if you can't keep that right instep on the mat. It's hitting muscles that we, in the legs that we don't usually get to in other variations of this posture. We'll bring the left hand to the outside of the left foot and we'll step into this left leg coming into warrior three airplane. And I usually use a block to get myself up here. I had the damage in my left thigh from a year and a half ago, and I ripped it. Getting back, though. Almost there. Bring the left palm to the I, again, only, I usually use a block here. My left thigh is not quite ready to do this with me touching the floor. So let me have a step here. And we'll bring our feet together on the mat and roll up on the spine. Get a drink of water, shake your body out. And we'll come down to the mat. For our next sequence, this one's not as long. We'll do back and forth a little bit more. The whole body should be all warmed up, so let's get into some, some of the lengthening, a little bit of strengthening. All right. We've got 15 more minutes of yoga, and then we'll do a, our relaxation, Shavasana. Alright, let's come into hero pose. We start here, we move down to the mat, into upward or downward facing hero pose. And when we do that, we keep the arms by the head at all times and use the navel center to bring you down. Don't drop the hands down or the arms in front of the head. And then drop the forehead to the mat. So the difference between child's pose and downward facing hero is the arms stay engaged. So this will be our resting posture. You might need it more or less. You can always come to this. And we've been going 45 minutes and that might be enough for you for, for today. Let's drop our elbows to the mat. Stack our shoulders on top of the elbows to bring the knees underneath the hips. See how I adjust 
by yourself to be just yourself. Just keep your arms straight here, the railroad tracks of the arms. And we're going to do a couple cat cow breaths, inhaling, tucking the toes under, arching the back, looking up, and exhaling, looking at the navel center, flattening the feet, coming back to the inhale. And to the exhale. Come back to a neutral spine. And we're going to step both legs back to plank on the elbows. Enjoying the plank on the elbows for a moment. Big inhale. As you exhale, lower your body to the mat, flatten the feet, and inhale, coming up into Sphinx. We're coming to Sphinx and pulling your shoulder blades down your back and opening up your heart center, whatever's in front of you. Now we're going to bend the right leg. Try to keep the shoulders parallel to the short edge of the mat as you reach your right arm back and bring that foot closer to the buttocks. Let's reach inside and grab the ankle and push that foot away from the body. Feel your Back open up, heart center open up. Big inhale here, exhale lower down to the mat, arms out in front. Interlace your fingers if you like, that keeps the hands together. Bring the feet together, we're going to come up into locust, lifting the chest off the mat, feet off the mat. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower down. Nice. Palms underneath the shoulders. Push yourself to high plank. Some days that's easier than others. Use your knees if you need to. We're going to bend the right leg. Again, putting the foot to the buttocks. Getting a crack in my right thigh. <laughs> Let's tuck under. We're going to put the right foot between the hands. Lower. The pelvic down. Get that straight line again from the right knee to the left heel and then we'll drop that left knee to the mat and we're going to pull the tailbone to the wall behind us as we straighten out the right leg and let the body come over the right leg. Come up on the fingertips. Walk your hands out in front. If your body will allow, let's just stay where you are. Sink down in. Walk the hands back. 90 degree bend in the right knee. Bring the left knee off of the mat. Stepping back to plank. Plank on the left side. So if your body will allow you, bend the right leg, reach back and capture the foot. So we'll come back, take that right elbow, bring it to the mat, left elbow to the mat. We'll drop our knees down. Nope, let's not do that. Let's pull the tailbone towards the ceiling, coming into dolphin, dropping the head right between the elbows and walking the feet forward. Open up the back here. Open up the shoulders. So let's bend the right leg, let the foot fall to the buttocks. We do little hops with the left leg. And imagine getting the body in one straight line, stacking the hips, 
on top of the shoulders. Do that a couple times. And then sit back into downward facing hero pose. Take a couple breaths here. To the other side, dropping the elbows to the mat, bring the head up, stacking the shoulders on top of the elbows, hips on top of the knees, adjust yourself as needed, a couple cat cow breaths. to a neutral spine, stepping back to plank on the elbows. A big inhale here. Exhale, lower to the mat, inhaling to Sphinx. Open up your heart center again. Keep your shoulder blades pulled down the back. And then we'll bend the left leg the foot towards the buttocks, reach the left arm back, keeping the shoulders parallel to the short edge of the mat as much as possible. You can't bring that heel to the buttocks. Stay open, reach inside, grab that angle, and push the leg away from the torso. Inhale, exhale, lower down to the mat, arms out in front, interlace the fingers, bring the feet together, inhale up to locust, a couple breaths, inhale lift, exhale lower, palms underneath the shoulders, push yourself to high plank, bend the left leg, Foot to the buttocks and tuck under. And place that left foot inside the left hand and sink down in. Stay strong in that right leg to begin with. Enjoy that lengthening. And then we'll drop the right knee to the mat. Straight down. Pull the tailbone to the wall behind you. Let your torso sink down over that left leg. Your body will allow, come up on the fingertips, walk the hands out in front. You can also use blocks here and just slide them forward. Whatever works. See some more joined. Thanks for joining. Put our hands back to either side of the foot, 90 degree bend in that right and the left knee on the mirror image. Come up, bring that right knee off the mat, and we'll step back to plank. This time we'll do a plank on the right side. See if my what my left thigh will do for me on this one. I'm gonna bend that left leg, see if we can't reach back and capture the left foot. Plank on the side, bringing that left elbow to the mat, right elbow to the mat. We're going to pull our tailbones towards the ceiling as we drop our head right between the elbows. Walk the feet forward. So now we're going to bend the left leg. We're going to do donkey kicks with the right leg, seeing if we can't bring our hips over the shoulders. We're going to be vertical. Get Feel a little balance here. Uh, 
And when you're ready, sit back into downward facing hero pose. Nice. So we'll come out of this just as we went into this posture, pulling up with the navel center, keeping the arms by the head, and sitting up. And bring the arms down. Nice. So last few minutes of practice here. We'll end with uh, free and dancer. And then we'll come to the mats for our inversion. And we'll do a headstand if that's safe for your body. If not, you can do a shoulder stand too. Just come up off the mat. See if you can come up without touching the mat with the hands. Always the trick. I'm going to step away from the wall a little here. All right, choose your side, either side, whatever works for you. Place your weight on your standing leg. Bring the other leg up. It can be anywhere except for on the knee. Bring the hands into prayer pose. I would imagine that knee is at a 90 degree angle from the body. Let our arms go nice, strong tree branches, opening up your heart center to the room. Let's drop that prophet leg. Reach the same arm down. We're going to grab that toe and slowly lean into dancer. Raising that foot behind you as you slowly come down. you're ready, we'll switch sides. Ready? Okay, let's do that. All right. Lean into the other side and bring the foot up. It can be anywhere except for on the knee. You know, some days are going to be different than other days. I'm doing this on carpet and I usually do a wood floor. That's different. with nice strong tree branches opening our heart center to the room and then dropping that prop lift leg reaching same hand down grabbing that toe slowly leaning in to dancer to the mat. So I do a tripod headstand. Fairly safe. Good way to start. So when you practice, just if you've not done a headstand before, first thing you need to do is just do a little practice getting used to your weight on top of your head. It's gonna be very uncomfortable if you've never done it. Straighten out my mat here. Okay. So the distance we're going to draw a triangle. The triangle is the crown of the head and the hands. There's our triangle. The hands should be shoulder width apart. We bring them to the mat. So we have two corners of the triangle. There's a distance between the hands. And the third corner should be right here. We're going to bring the crown of our head to that. Keeping the elbows like railroad tracks, you don't want them to come out. I think it's almost impossible for them to come in, but let, most will start with a little bit too far out. Bring them back so they're parallel. Come up on the toes. Now you can stay here. This might be perfect for you for today. The next step is bringing the knees to the elbows, or maybe one knee. You get both knees. Lastly, you raise the legs up. Good 
next day for about a count of ten. And you come down one leg at a time. Eases you down. And come sitting back up. How do we do for time? Excellent. Perfect. All right. Just come lying on to your back. Come into Shavasana. Oh, shake your arms out. Let the arms just fall right out of the shoulder sockets. Shake the legs out. Let them fall right out of the hip sockets. And let yourself begin to sink into the mat. We'll do a full body relaxation this morning. Bring your attention to the toes. Inhale, flex the toes. Create as much tension as you can as we go here. The more tension you can create, the more tension you can just release from your body. I know we're all feeling a little tense collectively. So let's, what we can release for ourselves, we can release this for everyone else too. So thanks for tuning in and doing the work. And making a difference for all of us. As you exhale, release, get back to it. <laughs> Inhale, flex the soles of the feet. Please. Exhale, release. Inhaling, flexing the heels. Squeeze, squeeze. Exhale, let go. Release. Feel as the tension that you created is just melting into the mat and taking away the tension that you didn't create as well. Inhale, flex the ankles. Exhale, release. Inhaling, flexing the shins and the calves. These muscles go together. Squeeze. Exhale, release. Inhale, pull up on the kneecaps. Flex the knees. Feel that tension wrap around the backs of the knees. Squeeze. Exhale, let go. Inhaling, flexing the thighs and the quads and squeeze largest muscle groups. Squeeze. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Exhale, relax. Release. Inhale and flex your glutes. Lift your body off the mat with the power of your glutes and squeeze. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, pulling up of the pelvic floor muscles. Almost like you're doing a kegel, but keep going up. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Exhale, let it go. Inhaling and flexing the lower abdomen and the small of the back. Bring up those counter muscles. Squeeze. Exhale, let it go. Inhaling and flexing the mid abdomen, the mid back. Squeeze. And exhaling and releasing. Inhaling and squeezing your rib cage around your internal organs. Like you're giving your lungs, liver, spleen, heart, kidneys, all the organs a nice hug. Flex the pectoral muscles. Squeeze. And exhale, let go. Inhale, pull your shoulder blades together behind your back. Squeeze. Exhale, let it go. Bring your attention to your hands. Ball your hands into fists. And even as you do this, you might find some emotion comes, a powerful mudra. You know, it's one of the things when we clench our fists when we're angry or anxious. So keep some emotion that has come to you. Just let that stay in the palm of your hand. And as you begin your inhale, squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And 
exhale. And release. Begin your inhale. Reflect from the wrist to the elbows. Squeeze as much tension as you can. Really tuning into your body's muscles here. And exhale, let it go. Inhaling and flexing from the elbows to the shoulders. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Exhaling and releasing. Inhaling and shrugging your shoulders up towards the ears. Squeeze as you exhale. Release. Relax. Let the tension go. Inhale and clench your teeth. Oh, you clench so hard that your tendons pop out of your neck. Tension all the way around. Feel it wrap around the backs of the ears to the nape of the neck. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And exhale, let it go. And we're going to pull all the facial features towards the nose. We'll get the cheeks towards the nose, pull the eyes towards the nose, pull the lips up towards the nose, and create something very bitter the sourpuss face. Squeeze. Flexing every muscle in the face. And as you exhale, release. Relax. The teeth are apart and the cheeks fall towards the ears. Pull the eyebrows up towards the hairline if you have hair. Let that tension wrap around to the tops of the ears, the back of the head all the way to the crown of the head. Squeeze. And exhale and release. I invite you to walk yourself back through your body, starting with the toes and moving to the crown of your head. As we begin to dive into the sound crown and become the sound become a sound wave. So if you find any tension as you're going back through your body, flex the muscles there consciously, let the tension go. Dive into the sound current when you're ready.
consciousness back into your body, wiggling your fingertips and your toes, circling your wrists and your ankles, both directions, rubbing the palms together and the soles of the feet together, stimulating the thousands of nerve endings in the hands and the feet, fully bringing yourself present, calm, relaxed, and to your body. Stretch the body out long, reaching the fingertips away from the toes. Let's move our arms into a T, and we'll bend just the right leg. You know what? Let's bend both legs this morning, bring the soles of the feet to the mat, and we'll pick up the hips and shift them to the right side of the mat. Take the right leg, wrap it around the left leg. We're going to drop both knees to the left side of the body. Imagine keeping both shoulder blades on the mat and turning and looking over the right shoulder. Relaxing the spine. and our gaze back up towards the ceiling. Unwind the legs. Pick up the hips, shift them to the left side of the mat. Let's wrap the left leg around the right. Wrap both knees to the right side of the body and turn and look over the left shoulder. Relax the spine. Bringing the knees and our gaze back up towards the ceiling. Unwind the legs. Shift the hips back to center. Pull the knees into the chest and we'll rock from head to toe. Carve the belly into a C. Get a nice back massage here. When you're ready. Rock yourself up to sitting in easy pose. Nice. Nice, nice. Um, just about out of time. I'm going to have to keep on time. I went over my last video, so try to keep on time on this one. We will do a one minute breath here. So close your eyes, go inside. You'll be breathing only through the nose. You will not do the breath for a minute. The goal is to work up to a minute. So we'll do a six seconds, six seconds, six seconds, which really is five seconds I'll be counting. But it's about six seconds. So you're going to exhale completely here and inhale through the nose. One, two, three, four, five, and hold. One, two, three, four, Five. Exhale. One, two, three, four, five. Inhale. One, two, three, four, five. Hold. One, two, three, four, five. Exhale. One, two, three, four. Five, inhale, one, two, three, four, five, hold, one, two, three, four, five, exhale, one, two, three, four, five, inhale, breathing normal, coming back. Breath. You can practice that breath throughout your day, especially nowadays. <laughs> practice that. 
centers the emotions, balances you, keeps you in a neutral mind. It has into prayer, calls it the heart center. And we'll end today with just one long ohm. Inhale to begin. to balance your chakras with the Earth's magnetic field. Nice. Thank you for tuning in. And again, Lindsay Miller, Michelle Brownson are my first two uh, um, donations. So if, you know, thanks again for everybody who's donated. Um, and uh, hopefully we'll We'll make it through this time together. Thank you. And uh, goodbye.